Hey everyone, good morning, it's Aisha. So I'm super excited because my dad is in town this weekend, so we're actually gonna do a bunch of renovations to the house. A major thing that I've been wanting to do is put a sump pump in my crawl space to keep the water out, especially August in Georgia has just been like, every single day has been a thunderstorm. Because of that, there has been water collecting in my crawl space, which is actually normal for a lot of houses in this area. So they said the best thing to do is just try to contain it as much as possible. And a sump pump is a great way to do that. So instead of paying someone to do it, I'm working on that project with my dad myself. So I'm super excited to walk you guys through that process. All in all, as long as we stay on track, it really shouldn't take more than a few hours, but we'll see how it goes as we go along. We actually got started pretty early this morning. We got up around 7.30 and started working around 8. My dad is actually digging the hole to put the sump pump basin in right now. I'll show you guys what the hole looks like so far and then we're gonna go to a home improvement store and pick up all the supplies we need to install the sump pump. It's already getting super, super hot out here. So let's go see what's going on and I'm super excited to show you guys this process. Dad, so what are we working on right now? We're working on threading, fitting onto the pump. Yep. So we can get a connection. Probably don't need to have such a leak time, but I'll need to at least do a few things. Put glue on this. It's called pipe cement. Mm hmm What does that do? It it's used plastic against plastic, so also acts as a bonding agent, and therefore there's no leaks coming out. So, coat. So, a little bit. <laughs> and essentially, it's like a liquid plastic. And that will be our joint. Ooh. Thing is, what's that? I don't want to grab it by the. This down. So also, I, I added this extra hole for the pupa, but also everything needs air to pump it through, right? So you gotta have like, otherwise you're gonna get a vacuum. That won't so, work. So, the holes here. Yep. To allow for air for the pump. Mm -hmm. maybe. Awesome. And then, I'm gonna put a 90 on here. Do the same in this direction. It's a pretty big, large, large span. So we have Officially plugged it in and it is working. Dad's back there digging a trench. So we are in action. Do you guys see my dad is diverting a lot of the water? You can literally see how much water is draining in. So quickly. So let's go check outside. To where we've rerouted it. What we see, oh my gosh, look how much water's draining out. Holy crap! Wow, it's just like spurting out. So it's been a super long day, and as you guys saw, we basically got to the finish line. Afterwards, we ended up securing the piping, then we also filled in the hole with a little bit more gravel and covered it so it wouldn't be a hazard. 
it actually went so smooth i was expecting more things to either go wrong or just not go our way but we were able to honestly get the project done in a really quick amount of time and fortunately we didn't really have to improv anything like everything basically went as it was supposed to so that rarely happens in a project so i'm actually super excited about that and it is supposed to rain tonight so even though the water's been draining really really well already we will see how it actually works with an actual downpour but I just want to say thank you for coming along on this journey with me, guys, and I will talk to you guys later.